Let's bring in NBC Pentagon correspondent Courtney Kuby to discuss all this. Courtney, welcome. So what do we know about the U.S. military support in the region? How large of a presence might it be? How close does it get to Israel? And what is the significant message that it sends by its presence? So it's both a big presence and it's a very significant capability that the U.S. is providing. So starting at sea, they're going to uh, they're going to send it. In fact, it's already on its way there. The USS Gerald R. Ford Carrier Strike Group. So that's that's the aircraft carrier of the Ford, but it's also a missile guided cruiser and four uh, missile guided destroyers. So those have the ability to fire off missiles. They have torpedoes, and those are not only the kinds of missiles that can hit a target on land, but they also have the ability to do missile defense. Defense. So let's say that there's a missile coming in. They have ones that they can go up and they can they can intercept uh, incoming missiles. So. In addition to that, the carrier and some of the ships, they have fixed-wing aircraft, they have helicopters, they even have surveillance aircraft. So 6,000 sailors, huge capability at sea. This is largely a show of presence or force or support for Israel at sea. But in addition to that, the U.S. is also sending a number of aircraft. We're told, according to U.S. officials, it's somewhere in the neighborhood of 20, 25 additional aircraft going into the region. Those include F-15s, F-16s, uh, A-10s, all attack fighter aircraft. This, again, is in addition to the F-18s that are on the carrier out in the Eastern Med. But in addition to that, the U.S. is sending F-35s. So why that's so important, Alex, is because that's not only an attack aircraft, but it also has uh, intelligence, surveillance capabilities, ex very extensive capabilities, in fact. It also has electronic warfare uh, abilities. So that includes being able to jam. So this is a huge suite of of assets that the U.S. is sending to the region. It really provides not only a potential deterrent to Hamas, to other groups who may be supporting Hamas from continuing these attacks or furthering their attacks, but it also provides a real ability to respond if necessary. Again, I want to really stress here, at this point, there U.S. officials I'm talking to are not talking about the U.S. getting actively involved in the ground conflict there in Israel. But they're putting some assets in place that they'll be able to support Israel if need be, Alex.